Here we have two identical state machines and they're both programmed to do exactly the same thing which is to try to take the state that the other one is not in. So if one state machine sees that the other is in a state of zero it will try to go to one or it will go to one and vice versa. The problem is that both of them are being synced off the same clock and therefore they're both making the same decisions at the same time and they are caught in a deadly embrace. So every time one of them changes states, the other one changes states as well. So they will never stabilize. So one of the ways of solving this situation of the deadly embrace are the two state machines being locked together and therefore they can't come to a compromise in terms of one being in one state and one in the other is to run each state machine on a separate clock. So here we have two clocks. One is running at 3.1 hertz and the other is about 15 hertz. And so now each one of the state machines has got its own clock and this allows them not to be completely synchronized. Now I have wired this little button right here so that it will clear the flip-flops and reset the clocks all simultaneously so when I press this button down what it's done now you see the lights on the right the clocks are stopped and the um, the flip-flops are the state machines are reset to zero now when I release this they're going to scramble and try to find a unique state and so we can try this several times and we can see it come to different conclusions so this proves that these two state machines actually are negotiating for uh, one of them being in one state and one of them being in the other state. Well here's a circuit for that simple peer-to-peer -peer network demonstration. It doesn't get a whole lot simpler than this. Originally I was running the one clock which is a 555 timer and then I switched to a 556 so that I could run two clocks at two different speeds. One of them is running at about 3 hertz and the other one's running at about 15 hertz. Now here we have two D flip-flops which are part of a 74HC74 chip and we have it connected so that it follows these rules here. Essentially both state machines work under the same rule. If the input which is the other state machine state, that's the input to each state machine is the other one state, that's input variable. If that input variable is the same as my state, then switch states. So that's all they're trying to do. And if they're both synchronized together, obviously they're going to be locked forever, switching back and forth, trying to find a unique state. But if you run them at, uh, at different clock speeds, it gives them an opportunity then to um, find equilibrium and each find its own unique state opposite of the other one. Here we have the LEDs that are indicating um, what state they're in, either 0 or 1. 